favorite memory of Canary is competing here with my teammates in cross country and track. Um, a lot of fun times, and uh, I was able to break the, the quarter mile record in track, which still stands out for you today. I am PJ Osika, and I am live with Canary. Good morning, Kettering Captains. I'm Tyler Lawson. And I'm Jalen Hunt. Here's your daily announcements for January 20th, 2012. Senior cap and gown honors will be picked up tomorrow during lunches for students M through Z. Graduate services will also be here this evening for six, from 6 to 7.30. Looking forward to your favorite cupcake today. We have a new flavor, peanut butter cup. And boy, is it delicious. Be sure to get your Friday sugar fix for only $1. Hey, students. The last day you can purchase a yearbook online and a nameplate is Tuesday, January 24th. Lost and Found is overflowing again. Please come down to the main office and see if anything is yours. Also, congratulations to this week's Teacher of the Week, Mr. Frank and his seminar class. Join your class at Hall Decorating Friday, February 10th, 2.30 to 10 p.m. Come support juniors and senior boys at the Charity Boys Volleyball Game in the South Gym, Monday, February 13th, 7 to 9 p.m. Final exam study sessions for 9th grade students next Wednesday and Thursday from 10.30 to 1 p.m. Transportation and lunch will not be provided. Space is limited. Sign up during ZAP in the LGI. On the 26th, the engineering class held its first Sea Perch ROV challenge. Our very own Brittany Antonelli got a closer look at what happened. Kettering's engineering class accomplished its first annual Sea Perch ROV challenge. There's actually three challenges. There's going to be a uh, collection of, of ducks on the surface, uh, diving rings all the way on the bottom of the pool, and then a uh, navigation portion through the pool. Along their journey to this challenge, multiple efforts of teamwork and dedication were involved. From getting the kits to designing on the CAD in 3D uh, to actually making and testing in the pool. We've gone on the pool like two or three times, uh, and the students have changed design concepts. The teamwork was also a huge part of the competition side of things. Each team consisted of multiple individuals. Each team strived toward winning each challenge, but along with the glory of winning, they also received a prize. This event has brought their program in a new direction. It is constantly growing and improving dramatically a great way to like show what we can do um, outside the typical classroom. Uh, there's a lot of cool uh, projects because they had to make the like, control board, they had to waterproof the motors, um, and they had to design their own robots, which is pretty cool. It's good to have fun while you're learning, and that's like my favorite part too. The 14th annual Taste of Waterford is Thursday, January 26th, and Waterford Coalition for the youth in need of student volunteers. Come walk the red carpet while earning community service hours supporting your peers and community, and having fun if you are interested in volunteering or have completed your volunteering, the volunteer form, please see Ms. Simmons in room 304B. Waterford School District College and Financial Aid Night is Monday, January 23rd from 6 to 8.30 p.m. at Waterford Mott. This is for students and parents of all high school grades attending all Waterford high schools. Colleges look at freshman, sophomore, and junior years when deciding who to admit to their schools. Know what to look for now so you can get into a great college of your choice. The hockey team is still selling the black and white hockey shirts during lunches in the cafeteria for only 10 bucks. These shirts allow you into the hockey games for free. What a deal. These shirts are also on sale at, at the games. Right now, here's Tavon Platt with the basketball interview with Arjun A. Washington. <laughs> So, 
Now here's Essence Baylor with the joke of the day. Tyler Lawson. And I'm Tyler Lawson. And I'm Jalen Hunt, signing off. <laughs>